What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and we're here with a narrated Wi-Fi battle video. I am very happy to be back to a semi-regular schedule, but more importantly, it is awesome to have PU battles with none other than uh, Subi or Dynamo22 from Twitter. Feel free to go check him out, I have his Twitter link in the description, he's an awesome battler. Proud to call him my rival. But you can see here in this picture, we both have pretty weird teams. He has Sunflora, Quilava, Raticate. Sandslash, Aritos, and Stantler. While well, I have a Scarf Kingler, a Rock Polish Aurorus, a Banded Super Size Gorgeist, a Specially Defensive Noctowl with Defog and Nightshade, also in a Moon Ball, I was very happy to breed that one, a uh, Cricketune with Sticky Web and Parish Song, and a Coil Gunk Shot Sucker Punching Arbok that I bred back in 5th Gen. Now I expected from his team that Raticate and Quilava were going to be the biggest issues. Raticate can just hit really hard. I was expecting it to have Sucker Punch as well to bypass some of the speed issues, which made Nature Power on my Aurorus really, really important because Nature Power does not trigger Sucker Punch. It does not uh, allow Sucker Punch to hit first. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect from Quilava. I actually hadn't battled one of those outside of a challenge league, I think last year was the last time I fought a Quilava. And when I battled that Quilava in that double battle, I believe I lost. So not the best record going against Quilava, but that's neither here nor there. We're gonna start off with Scarf Kingler just go straight for the Brick Break, why not? I mean, even if you wanted to switch into a Aridos, I could just switch onto my Arbok. And so I get a free KO on Stantler immediately. Aridos comes in, I was expecting the Poison type move, and so I go out into my own Poison type. His Poison Jab actually does a decent amount of damage, uh, just leading me to believe that he's adamant, fully invested in attack. Uh, but most Aridos are sashed, if only to set up Sticky Web. So I was expecting that, and so I just went ahead and set up a coil so get, to raise my Gunk Shock's accuracy. I was expecting him to stay in and set up Sticky Web. But he actually switches straight on in the Sand Slash, and I didn't really have anything that I wanted to take the um, Earthquake outside of Gorgeist. And even then, if I had switched in, into Gorgeist, I didn't want to take a possible knockoff. So I just stayed in with Arbok, and I got off a little bit of damage, uh, but he is able to knock me out. But that's okay, because I can Revenge Kill with Kingler. For those of you who don't know, Kingler is definitely my favorite water type, if only for Kooky Kooky, like he said in the anime, or when he was just wailing on the shell of that cloister and he broke through cloister's shell. Awesome battles, awesome battles with Kingler. Uh, I didn't want to stay in on the sun floor with Kingler, of course, when I have a great special wall to go to. So I switched on into Noctow. He does get the poison on the sludge bomb. I was not expecting that, definitely expecting a grass type move, but he did predict my switch. And um, not knowing what he was going to do, because I expected him to switch, I just went for Toxic. Um, the only thing he has to absorb it is Aridos. And Noctowl doesn't really care about anything Aridos can do. I can generally just restall it. He brings in Quilava. Um, he goes for a Lava Plume, and that doesn't do very much damage. So I'm able to roost up here. Fortunately, I am regular poisoned instead of badly poisoned. So the damage is not going to mount up on my Noctowl the same way it is on his Quilava. That being said, uh, I was pretty sure his Quilava was Eviolite, and it probably had Rest. I wasn't expecting it to have Sleep Talk. I don't know why. In my mind, I just expected it to have Rest, and I didn't think of Sleep Talk until I saw it. But it is a Rest Sleep Talk set. So Rest, Sleep Talk, Lava Plume. And the last move is either probably Coverage or something like Will-O-Wisp, I would imagine. Although you probably want to run Will-O-Wisp with Lava Plume. So yeah, probably just a little bit of Coverage on that last move. But he does go for Rest here. It's kind of just back and forth with the Night Chase, because I wanted to put him at a point or even with the Eviolite, I could bring something in and KO him. Uh, Nightshade is doing nice amounts of damage, and I do force him out. Right here is actually when I predicted him to switch out, but I actually predicted him to go out into his um, Ariados, I believe. And so I brought in my Garf Kingler, and either he just mispredicted that or expected me to stay in, because he went out and eradicate and was able to get a lot of that HP going, or rather a lot of his attack power going with a Toxic Orb. Um, 
Now I decided to switch out into my Boreostris here, my Auroras, because if he did get the burn with the Lava Plume, it wouldn't bother Auroras that much. I am using special attacks. Furthermore, Auroras has pretty good special defense, um, all of its weaknesses notwithstanding. I am able to take out Quilava with a nice ancient power, revealing that I am Life Orb. And I didn't really see the need to go for Rock Polish outside of his Raticate, whom I believed had Sticky Web at the time. I kind of outsped everything on his team with my general build. Um, and the things I didn't outspeed, they couldn't really one-hit KO me. So here, I just knocked him down to a Sash, trying to get the boost from Ancient Power. And as I said before, I'm used to seeing Sucker Punch on some Pokemon. So expecting him to go for that, I switched over to Nature Power. And I'm able to knock out the Aridos without um, allowing him to finish me off beforehand. Now, I was expecting Raticate to have Sucker Punch as well. He surprises me when he outspeeds. Uh, I just, I don't know, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know if it was Guts or Quick Speed at that, at that, at that moment, in the t at the moment in the battle, rather. But he does U-turn. I think he expected the U-turn to kill because he ends up going onto some Flores Death Fodder. And he's able to finish me off with a quick little attack there. Now we have a bit of a problem because if he is Quick Feet, uh, in conjunction with that and the um, Sticky Web that's down, which lowers my Pokemon speed by one level, that means nothing I have will outspeed and he's going to kind of rampage through my team with Facade. I wasn't sure if I could live enough turns for the poison to take him out, and so I decided to bring in Cricketune in order just to go for the Parish Song. This puts a three turn timer on him, and at this point in the battle, I had three Pokemon left. So all I had to do basically was live for three turns and then I would automatically win. So Cricketune, thank you for enabling me to make sure that I win the battle. His Parish Count falls to two. I have Helen and one more Pokemon left. And so no matter what, uh, I should be able to get through this. Now he does go for Crunch and get a critical hit and even that's not enough to take out Helen. And expecting him to have Sucker Punch, I actually went for Trick. Um, now that I know he doesn't have Sucker Punch, or rather I thought I knew he didn't have Sucker Punch, it turns out he was running both. So he kind of had my number on that one. He was probably expecting Will-O-Wisp actually. Uh, he was able to finish off my Helen as well. And that means, fortunately, I don't have to bring in Noctowl to get KO because he actually goes down to the Toxic Poison. So I was able to just kind of outlast him in that regard. So that was a good battle. I don't get a chance to play PU very much. But if nothing else, it's a fun opportunity to use some, some new Pokemon in a, in a way that it's more difficult to use them in, in higher tiers. Or I could use the same team in OU. It just probably wouldn't be as fun to play because it's so wildly, I guess, outclassed by so many other Pokemon, except for maybe uh, Gorgeist and Noctowl. I'm able to use those two in OU pretty frequently with some success. But I hope you all enjoyed this battle. If you did, make sure you leave a like, and I will look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye-bye now.